what is going on guys today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Compassence. kind of a weird name but what this plugin lets you do it lets you have this on your Minecraft server so it's almost like a compass except it's always on your screen so it takes place over the action bar and it acts like a compass so it's pretty cool and there are a lot of themes that can go along with it and you can change everything inside of a GUI so as you can see when I turn around it goes to north east south and west just like a normal compass does so what I like about it is it's just it's not that big so it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's always there or I know you can press F3 but of course that takes up the whole screen it's it's just a bunch of messy information that you don't want instead you can have this and give it to your players so they can use it on your server so pretty cool just download this plugin drop your plugins folder and then restart your server and then we can type the command slash compass and that will open up the GUI where we can change the themes that can go along with the compass. So if you click on theming, then as you guys can see, the one that I have is Midnight Light. And it has a little cool enchanting effect to it to let you know that I selected it. So by default, Midnight is the one that is given to the players. And you can right click to preview and then left click to actually select it. So you can give this ability to change themes to maybe VIP or donor players and just give the regular theme to all your default players however you want that to work. But like I said, you can right click to preview. So I'm going to show you guys the default one and it looks like that. So a little bit darker and then the midnight light is right there. The midnight mini looks like that. So it's a little bit smaller, takes up a little bit less of the screen. And then this one is pretty cool. It's a lot of colors in one. Looks awesome. And then the minimalistic is that one. So a lot of less extra junk to it just the actual letters and then an even smaller one I don't know how that one works that one's a little bit confusing to me and then the rest is actually locational stuff so this actually doesn't work with me I don't know if it'll work with you guys but it's just a bunch of placeholders and uh, there's actually a placeholder API plugin that you guys can add on for this plugin but that is for a separate tutorial on placeholder API so right now I'm just relying on the actual compass function and uh, so yeah let me go ahead and test out my ferret one so right click to preview but left click to actually select it and there we go so we can exit and there are a couple more things that we can change whether or not you can track a player and then some extra settings nothing too serious and then there we go so this one is really really cool looks awesome and uh, as you guys can see I'm turning around and it acts just like a compass so this is useful for your players to know where they're going or maybe even in Hunger Games when a loot crate or a drop happens and then they know where to go without pressing F3 and taking up their whole screen or they automatically know where to go because this is already on their screen. So like I said, it looks really awesome. Hopefully you guys do check this plugin out in the description. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe for more if you're not subscribed already. Peace out.